Doing a burn test is a quick and easy way to figure out what fiber content your fabric is. So we'll have a few supplies here like our leather glove just to protect our hands. We'll need some different fabrics. We've got cotton, I also have silk and wool, and then I've got a synthetic here, 100% polyester felt. I also have a pair of pliers or tweezers to hold the fabric while it's burning and then this little mini torch to set it on fire. I also have a little bowl with some water in it just in case. The first one I'm going to do is cotton. And this is gonna go up really quickly and you should smell something like burning paper. So I might not be able to blow it out because it will go up quickly, in which case I'm just gonna drop it right into this bucket of water. Okay, so you see how quickly the flame sort of takes hold here? And if you had smell-o-vision, you would notice that it smells a lot like burning paper. So I'm going to put that in the water bucket. Next, I'm going to do a synthetic. So this is a poly felt. And when this burns, it's going to almost melt when it comes in contact with the flame. And it's going to leave behind a bead of plastic, almost what it essentially looks like. So you see how it just sort of melts away? I'm going to blow it out, but you can see there that it creates the bead. See how it just melts as it comes in contact with the flame? Do you see that it leaves behind these beads of plastic? So that's how you can determine a synthetic. Now lastly, I'm going to show you this wool, which is in silk, which are going to react pretty similarly. But first we'll start with the wool. And this one is going to burn rather slowly and almost sort of char. And it will smell a lot like burning hair. So you see how that doesn't go right up in flames like the cotton did? It sort of has this charred effect and I can absolutely smell what smells like burning hair. You see it's charred there and if you put it on paper, you can see that it leaves behind these little charred pieces. Same thing will happen when we do this with silk. So again, you see that it does not go up in flames very quickly, or at all really, it burns rather slowly. And then leaves behind all of those charred pieces. So that's what's gonna happen with a wool or silk.